What's up everybody, Danny Crafts here, and welcome to another episode of Crafting with Daniel. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about five Mother's Day gift ideas for 2021. Let's dive on in. So, just a quick heads up, there will be some self-promoting and uh, shameless product plugging in this video but there will also be some ideas that I do not make or sell. So just keep that in mind. What's happening? Oh, are you filming? I'm actually filming a Mother's Day gift idea thing. Okay. Can you just copy this for me? Uh-huh. Yep. Just leave them anywhere, it's fine. Thank you. Totally gonna include this in the video, by the way. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry about that. Are you still there? Okay, so gift idea number one is actually something my mom makes and that I sell on my website, dannycrafts.ca, are these uh, one size fits most indoor house slippers. They come with little pom-poms and in a variety of colors. Um, they do fit a variety of sizes. They fit my mother and they also fit me. So this is actually a really cute idea, which what mom doesn't love slippers, you know? Even if you live in a warmer place, but maybe you have air conditioning, house slippers are, are always a nice thing to have around the house. And these are completely handmade from the from the slipper itself to the little pom-pom. Who's -pom. a little cozy rosy slippers? <laughs> Number two is actually this little gift set that I got my mom for her birthday, which was her birthday. No, Valentine's Day, which was in February, just as like a nice I love you gift, but I think this would be a great gift for Mother's Day. It is this wooden air plant holder. So there are a variety of air plants in here which don't need soil, they just need air, hence why they're called air plants. All you need for this is four pieces of wood, some glue, hot glue, wood glue, some little um, screw and hooks, and then string. So super easy to make, and you can just put your air plants in and then kind of keep it by a window and water it, I think, once a week or twice a week. And then another great tool for that is a water mister, which I sell on Westwick. This is the way that I water my water my air plants. I just do that a couple of times, uh, once to twice a week. It's a great little gift, maybe a combo set, the plants, this, and then a little mister. Again, you don't need to buy this on my site. You can find a water mister at a lot of stores. Even the dollar store have some like spray bottles. So gift number two is a little air plant kit. A little different than flowers. I think flowers sometimes get bored. I mean, flowers are always a great idea, but another way to, to like give a great plant that like promotes some air creation, oxygen creation. Idea number three. Now something I just recently launched on dannycrafts.ca is a candle subscription. You can get a candle every month for $35. It includes free shipping in Canada or uh, one candle every three months, which is $40. It includes a candle. There will be a different other gift every every month, but for your first month, you also get a pair of these matte black wick trimmers uh, which are great for keeping your candle wicks trim so that your candle burns properly and then i usually also include like a free sample of like a tea light um, if you like having those around your house lots of little handmade candles throughout the year if you don't need that many candles you can also give them as gifts but you can also gift this to your mom for 35 canadian dollars a month so that is on my website so that is gift number three so gift number four, which will actually be the kind of DIY portion of today's video, is making a handmade candle. So this is a beautiful jar that I got from a local store in Mississauga. It's actually two parts, a glass inside with a kind of matte, I don't know if it's painted or a different color glass on the outside, and then it has a metal like iridescent base. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous candle. Not cheap by any means, but it is a perfect candle to do two wicks so we're quick i'm going to quickly make this two wick candle with you all right here i'm going to give one to my mom and then i'm going to make one available on my shop if anyone is interested but doesn't feel like making it themselves so i am using an htp 73 wick from aztec candle supply in the states i don't rely on one candle supplier oops for my wicks because they're very hard to rely on sometimes. And I'm just eyeballing this wick placement. 
The reason I chose the HTP 73 is because the diameter of this jar is four inches and the HTP 73 is good for jars that are two to three inches in diameter. So times in that by two is four to six inches in diameter and this one is four inches. So I just hot glued them down into the center there and used this tool which I just took from a Ikea thing to glue them down. Just like that, your candles are wicked. And I was using wick dots um, for quite a while, but then I ran out of them. So now I'm just using hot glue, which does the job. I haven't had any issues with it thus far. So today I'm just doing a soy wick, soy wick, soy wax candle using C3 soy wax. I have it melting over here. Just going to check the temperature. Perfect, and it is at a nice 182 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, perfect, just in the 180 to 190 degree range. So we removed it from heat. Going to choose a scent. I pulled a couple of ones that I thought would work well. I think the one that I'm going to go with is bergamot and ambergris, don't know if I'm saying that right, from Wooden Wick Co. Oh yeah, it's really nice. I've had some issues with Wooden Wick Co this year. They are changing warehouses their wax has been sold out for a couple months. Their customer service is good at response, but not great at keeping you informed as to why your order is just not being sent out to you. So I had to kind of get a little upset with them. Uh, shout out to Holly for taking good care of me. But um, I got a refund and now I just stick to ordering some fragrances from there. Wooden wicks when I need them. Sometimes jars, but I stopped ordering jars from there. The Aura of Vestal is really nice. But now I just get their fragrances because they're they are quick and they arrive in like two to three days and they are delicious. So since I have 20 ounces of wax, I'm going to use two ounces of this, which is a 10% fragrance load. <coughs> So in my experience, soy wax actually is better to pour and mix at a higher temperature. So I just pour in the fragrance anywhere between 170 to 180 degrees. And by the time it's mixed in, it actually drops the temperature down. See, this is reading 163. And I'm supposed to pour, with this certain wax, between 160 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So not waiting super long to mix and pour is actually pretty okay with soy waxes and also coconut soy waxes. I really don't have a preference between the two. They're both more natural than paraffin. So it's just really on what's, what's more available to you. I'm actually gonna pour into my jar on a scale so that I can see how much it needs. Okay, so this is a 14 ounce jar and this is holding about 13 ounces with still some safety area at the top, which is perfect. So my next gift idea is actually making these super cute uh, bubble candles that you may have seen on Instagram or Pinterest or whatever. They're super easy to make. These ones I made with coconut wax and no additives, so it didn't turn out that well. So these ones I'm actually mixing in 3% beeswax to make it a bit sturdier, and I'm going to put it in my mold here, which I think will be another cute little little gift for the day. And because I am adding three more ounces of beeswax, I will need to add 0.3 ounces of fragrance to that candle. But all I'm gonna do here is take my mold and my cotton wick here. This is a number one cotton wick from Village Craft and Candle. It's made for pillars. And I have poked a tiny hole at the top of this mold. So I'm just gonna feed this wick through, keeping enough for on both sides and just trimming it like that. So I have wicked my mold. I will do another video on how to do candle molds and stuff like that, but for now, I'm just going to speed through this process here. I put sticks on either side to keep it from sinking in this little cup. I don't like to lay these flat because they flatten the bottle, bottom of the mold when I pour them. Oh, sorry, missed a step. I'm actually gonna dip the wick into the wax that's being used just so that it's a little bit lubricated. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just gonna put it back into my little cup here. If you don't have chopsticks, another 
tool I have made myself to keep wicks centered is two popsicles taped together at one end. It kind of makes like a little thing. I don't even know. So I just use that to center it. And while we wait for the wax to melt, I will show you the fifth gift idea for Mother's Day. Uh, I think something fun to do or a good gift is something you can do together. I love paint by numbers. So I have this paint by number kit from Magic Fly, which I actually was gifted from them. They are on Amazon if you want to check them out. I don't typically order from Amazon just because I don't like giving uh, Bezos my money, but Magic Fly reached out to me and seemed like a great, good, uh, well-priced company, but I will do a full review on this product. So I think paint by numbers or adult coloring books, anything like that would be a nice, a nice gift for mom. So that is gift number five. Okay. So I've added my beeswax and my extra fragrance oil. So we're just going to pour in these last molds here. And I did just get some wax on my new Lululemon pants. All right, so there you have it. Five gift ideas for this Mother's Day in 2021. Hope that was somewhat interesting and helpful and not a complete waste of your time. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, comment, or subscribe as that always helps a lot on my channel. And stay crafty, everybody. See you next time.